everyone, so today I'm here to do the Breaking the Spines tag which was created by Reading with Jack and I will leave the link to his channel in the box below. I was tagged by British Book Lover and I will leave her link in the description box below, you should definitely go and check her out. Okay, so I'm just going to get started with the tag because <laughs> I think I'll probably have a lot to say about this. Okay, so the first question is... Do you break the spines or do you prefer to keep your books looking new? Well, I don't go out of my way to break spines when I get books. It's not like something that I've done ever. If, I'm fi if I finish reading a book and I find a crack or two on the spine, it doesn't particularly bother me. But I don't go out of my way to like pick up a book and then start bending it and cracking it until the spine breaks. That's just, that's not what I do. But um, cracks in that on spines don't particularly bother me too much and I like to think that the cracks add character to my book and it makes it look as if I've read the book numerous times and have enjoyed it every single time. Second question is, for those who don't like broken spines, have you ever accidentally broken a spine? The only thing I don't like when it comes to breaking spines is when books are like basically in half when you open them, the whole book sort of folds in half. And unfortunately this did happen to one of my books. It's in the Morganville series and I don't know if you can see that but there's a massive massive crack right down the middle of the book and I can even I can even spot it in the lines in the pages there as well and when you open it it just folds right in half and that's the only thing I hate when it comes to books this, this is like extreme crack, <laughs> this is like an extreme crack in a spine and that's the only thing I don't like when it comes to breaking spines. The third question is, if you're buying a used book and the spine is cracked, how do you feel about it? Well, to me it depends on how bad the spine really is when I'm looking at them. If it's in, I don't know, if it's in an okay condition and it is slightly cracked, it doesn't particularly bother me, but if it's like the spine is almost completely destroyed, I wouldn't pick it up, I'd much rather buy it new. I just recently bought uh, Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin and someone has apparently been reading the book like this, folding it over or completely straightening the book out because the whole spine just folds right over and it actually looks as if it's starting to turn around on itself. And I didn't actually know this until I got it home but the spine is also slightly dipped and curved in at the sides as well but for the price that I got it at I can't particularly complain about it but um, I will buy books with cracked spines but it just depends on how badly they are cracked. So the fourth question is do you agree or disagree on the opinion that some people have that broken spines mean that a book is well read? Well to me it makes it look as if I've read that book so many times and that I've enjoyed it so I do agree with that statement to a certain extent but I wouldn't like go out of my, I wouldn't destroy a book cut a book and be like oh yeah I've read this so many times that it's completely destroyed and it shows that I absolutely love the book although <laughs> there there was one um, instant of that. Uh, my original copy of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was in three pieces. I did, get, I did get that copy when I was very young and I didn't particularly take care of my books then so I think it's currently up in the loft with sellotape holding the whole thing together. So I do agree with the statement to some extent but I think that um, being careful and taking care of your books as well also shows that you love them because it means you're trying to keep them as good as you possibly can. But I don't think, but I don't think that a crack or two really makes any difference. <laughs> Question number five is: because the spines on hardbacks cannot be seen, do you prefer to buy hardback books or paperback books? If I had the money, I would buy all hardback books. I recently just started liking hardbacks more. So if I had the money for them, I would buy all hardbacks, but because I don't, I love buy paperbacks and I do really enjoy reading paperbacks because they're easier to hold when you're reading as well. So I'm not particularly sure. Um, 
I probably would buy hardbacks if I had the money because I think they do look much nicer on your bookshelf. Plus they don't crack so. Question number six is, aside from breaking spines, do you ever bend the corner of a page if you don't have a bookmark handy? I used to be extremely guilty of this when I was younger. All my books were all dog-eared. But I don't do that anymore. I always have a bookmark or a piece of cardboard beside me. No matter no matter where I am, I always if I'm if I'm going to start reading a book, I put a bookmark inside the front of it so that I have a bookmark for that book. So that I don't have to resort to finding uh, bits of paper, cards lying about my room or whatever to <laughs> keep the page because I've become a sort of bookmark freak with it, with them um, keeping my books in the pages looking neat now so I do not dog ear pages anymore. Okay so who did I tag for this video? I'm going to tag three people and I'm tagging Amber Pepper, Starry in 72 and Dark and Stormy Night 13. Okay so that was my answers to the tag. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!